Hello everyone, this video is about JavaScript promises. What is JavaScript promises? How to is use it and why we need it. And also the special special methods which are dart in and dart catch methods. And also the special keywords which are async and await keywords. All we will learn in this one video. So let's uh, first of all move to the JavaScript. This is the JavaScript code okay, that we have written. It will run sequentially. How I, we have written so it will run sequentially. For example, I will run it. See, it will run uh, how we have written, okay? It, it is running sequentially. But if we would like to access the data from the database or from a file or to uh, just uh, run an API, to access data from an API, so we cannot access or run that sequentially directly. So we if that will return um, a promise to us. So now what is a promise? So let's define the promise. The promises is object representing the evaluate, uh, evaluate uh, eventual uh, completion or failure of an asynchronous operation and its resulting value. So at least it uh, um, looks uh, harder. So let's explain it with the real world example. For example, you move to a restaurant for to have a lunch or dinner. So you just call to the uh, waiter to bring me uh, another cup of coffee. So you cannot access that directly. So the pro the waiter promised with you that I will return and come with uh, your coffee. So you should wait and then you will get to whenever the waiter come and you will access that uh, copy. Same concept is in JavaScript also. So let's create it's the JavaScript and create an example for that. Let's first of all import axis from axis. And after that let's write const let data. Sorry, we should write just data is equal to we will use axis dot get method and the api this is the api the url that we would like to access data from this uh, api you will just access a post okay the first post in this api okay this is api and now let's print that console console dot log uh, we will print just the data we will just try data dot data to access the data we will just write like this data dot data so let's run it see and define it means that we didn't get the data so the reason is that it first of all process it and then it will return the result uh, then we can use that okay but uh, um, like this if you write like this we cannot uh, get the uh, data because that was not processed that was not returned the uh, the data was not returned so for that we need promises to use that now we will use the um, special methods which are dot in and dot catch methods so i wrote this code okay access dot git this is the url that we wrote and then we use dot in and dot catch these two methods will use this whenever it runs then it will execute it okay otherwise it will not execute it it will wait until it returns the result then it will be executed if that was true if there was no error in the url so it will uh, execute this uh, method otherwise if there was any error so it will uh, just uh, uh, run this uh, catch method so now let's try it let's see we got that post okay the first post id title and body this was the first post but if there is um, an error for example let's write like this there is no um, id like this one so let's try it now what we get in the response see it returned a result see uh, it returns an error so this is the error which has uh, printed it means that if, if we uh, let's run another url this is http state state uh, url and we use 404 for that so let's run it now see we got this data code 404 and description not found Uh, so now I wrote just this line of code. So now let's check it. Okay, uh, is it first of all return this uh, statement, the return this post, this data, or it print uh, first of all this code for us? So let's try it. See, first of all, it printed just uh, um, the after code. Okay, this statement. It means that uh, it will wait just these two blocks. Okay, these two blocks will wait whenever the result return from this uh, URL. Other other codes will return sequentially. Okay, there is no. Um, uh, refusing for it 
so to wait uh, for it and uh, run all code sequentially so for that now we will use a uh, sync and await uh, keyword so for that we need a function to create first of all so let's create that so to use the async and await uh, um, keywords we will first of all assign this async to the function and then we will write await keyword here it will not uh, um, run it will not just execute this code until it return the result so let's try it and see see it has returned the result okay but uh, if it, there is an error so how to handle uh, error with it so for that we need to uh, add just try and catch block for it we will write like this okay just add try and catch block if that the code was successful so that it will just run this code if there was any error so it will return then it will run this code so for example let's first of all try it see it has returned that post but if there is an error for example this id let's save it and run again so there is no um, record no data with it okay it is, it is returned an empty uh, object so it was all about this uh, um, promises uh, and you learn about all that thing that catch and other async and await keywords i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching